and welcome. You're watching the newsroom on TV 360 Nigeria. President Mohamed Buhari has signed the 2019 appropriation bill into law. The signing of the bill is coming 48 hours before the inauguration for a second term in office. The lawmakers on April 30 passed the 2019 budget of 8.91 trillion naira, raising it by over 90.3 billion naira. On to news in politics, the winners of the presidential and House of Representatives election in Zamfara State will begin to receive their certificates of return on Monday, May 27, 2019. The Independent National Electoral Commission stated that the governor, deputy governor-elect, senators and members of the House of Representatives-elect will be issued their certificates on Monday, May 27, 2019 at the Commission's Electoral Institute in Abuja. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has charged the National Assembly and security agencies to immediately probe corruption allegations by the wife of the President, Aisha Buhari, against the Social Investment Program, SIP. In a statement by its National Public Secretary, uh, Kola Ologbodino, the PDP said that the revelation by the First Lady has further vindicated their stance that the APC is corrupt. The Labour and Employment Minister Chris Ingige is urging states, governments and other employers of Labour to start implementing the 30,000 naira minimum wage. He advised states to begin paying the new salary to avoid a huge backlog of arrears that will likely create labour unrest for them. Ingege also stated that no state governor can refuse to implement the minimum wage since it's now a national law. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, says it recovered 200, I beg your pardon, 26 billion naira from 2015 to date from public officials and companies. Speaking to newsmen in Abuja on Sunday, the chairman of the commission, Bolaji Owasanoye, said the recoveries uh, include 32 houses from civil servants. Four people have been killed at a Catholic church in the north of Burkina Faso. The latest in a series of attacks the government blames on Islamist militants. A government minister told local media that eight armed men targeted the church in the town of Tulfi during mass on Sunday. In sports, Roger Federer has made a winning return to the French Open after a three-year absence with a dominant first-round victory over Lorenzo Sonego, the 20-time Grand Slam winner playing at Roland Garros for the first time in four years, beats the Italian 6-2-6-4-6-4. And that's it from here on the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. Thanks for watching and bye for now.